Welcome to Let's Talk It Over. I'm Ken Ween, and with me today, my co-hosts, Monica Brinkman and Henry, the radio cat. <laughs> and our special guest today is a wonderful musician, Raspin Stewart. Now, I have to tell you, folks, my wife and I have usually very different music tastes. Monica and her husband, Rich, usually have different music tastes. Okay. When I played Raspin's music, my wife overheard from the other room. She said, oh, my God, I love this guy. <laughs> when Monica played Raspin's music, Rich overheard, and he said, oh, my God, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we got <laughs> a whole, whole bunch of us in Dua well, Sing that's Raspin's a big deal music. with Rich. Wow. And because wow. He never does that. It's the first time he's ever done that, as a matter of fact. And I this feel guy, lucky. <laughs> this guy has a, a folky blues kind of sound that just makes the music kind of want want you to just stand up and kind of not dance around so much as just sway to it because you want to hear those words. You know, you don't want to dance around so much you're not hearing it because yeah. the lyrics take you. The music takes you, and it's special. Uh, we're going to play a, at least one song at the end of the show, and you'll see what we're talking about, because every so often, there's a voice that shows up in our world that needs no explanation as to who the vocalist is. And you are one of those. Wow. I, I mean, all we have to do is hear the music. We don't need an introduction. We know this is Raspin. Yeah, and I've been told that. Yeah, that's a unique thing in the industry. And I think it's why people have loved your music for a long time now. Yeah. And uh, well, are going to continue so much. to be so you before we, before I start asking you questions, I'm going to just tell folks because the way your name is spelled is important if they're going to yes. listen to you, and I hope they are, and I hope they're going to buy lots of your music. It's R A S P I N S T U W A R T, and that's Raspin Stewart. And folks, after the show. I think you're going to want to click on his link. It's his name, you know, dot com. I think you're going to want to look for it. And I think you're going to want to buy some music. Yeah, and we'll so, absolutely have the link available for yeah. you. Absolutely. A good, a good way to find me is people will call me Raspin. All right. I go by Raspin.com and RaspinStewart.com. Okay. So both of those will lead you to someplace. <laughs> You, you, grew up, you grew up in the Windy City, right, Raspin? I did, I did, yeah. yeah. Chicago area. Uh, not in the city. Um, I grew up in a little town called Joliet, Illinois. Oh, I know where that's yeah. at. We're yeah. famous yeah. for a prison. Yes. And they yeah. had great art shows there. Mm -hmm. So and every once in a while, I travel to Chicago um, and play like the Earl of Old Town and Orphans and stuff like that. When I was like 15 and 16, I'd go up and visit my sister. And one time I was walking home from the club and a cop stopped me because I was like 16 years old. <laughs> and um, he goes, what are you doing out so late? Do your parents know where you are? Well, my parents were in Joliet, Illinois, and I was in Chicago with my sister who was a few years older than me. So, you know, she said, yeah, just go ahead. You can do your thing. So that, but police were much more uh, lenient back then. They in the, were. You know, the, the late 60s, 70s. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so, they weren't so fast to arrest people yeah. back in those days. They worked with people. <laughs> yeah. when, you, when you were young, you know, when you were like around 16 and still mm -hmm. in the Chicago area, uh, is were you already writing music? Playing? Yeah, I was. And, um, at 17, I moved out to Los Angeles by myself. Mm. And uh, uh, I did music for several years. And then around 21, I actually accidentally started a magazine called Boulevard Magazine. 
which took me away from the music for almost 32 years. Mm -hmm. But I would always do, I would perform at night in clubs a little bit and I would produce artists and stuff like that. And I produce my own music, but only about since 2016, I think, or 2000, when did we have that big crash? 2009? 2009. I, yeah, I think I, that's when I started really doing music full time and starting myself. And I'm really glad that I was older because my songs really, I, even though I wrote a lot of them when I was young, they really speak to an older, and not an, just, I, I feel comfortable singing them at this age and I can get them across to people. And um, I really feel that people that are older they're just really great. There's so many great older artists out there that have to be discovered. And I hope that the world is changing, that they'll accept older artists versus the young people. Yeah, to me, it's the talent. It doesn't matter what age you are. If it's good music, it's good music, you know? Yeah, they, they, so they, say, they say that, but realistically, um, the record companies, the publishers and stuff like that. Um, they like it. They're looking for youth, I think. But I think there's a ch changeover. There's, there the, is. I, yeah. I've been yeah. meeting a lot of young people. You uh, know, us older people, and I'm, I'm older than you, but um, us are older. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> you already kind of indicated your age, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, when, when we were younger, I mean, we used to love to go to concerts. Yeah. You know, like my wife, for instance, uh, you know, Billy Joel. Uh, I Willie love Nelson. Billy Joel. I love Willie Nelson. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't go, uh, um, uh, sure. Paul Simon and Art Gun Art Garfunkel. I mean, these are people we would go to see. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and if I got this, you know, if they were around still, I mean, I'd still go. I'm, you know, if I if I had a chance. So, and your your music speaks to me. I think it speaks to a, a mature audience. Yeah, I agree. Well, I, agree. I don't know about that because, as I was going to say, I've been meeting a lot of young people because I go to a lot of events. They are dressing uh -huh. like we dressed in the 60s. And they tell me constantly that it's not just the dress, it's the music. Yeah. I think they will embrace this type of music. They like the old music that we had. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad because it's about time we got back. Well, I, don't want to say, I don't think we want to call Rasmus music old because what I think it is, is it's timeless. It is, you know, it is. It's, it's a everyone. timeless music. Yeah, I just happen to be a little older. That's right, <laughs> and that doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> now I just did the eclectic festival in South, and somebody came up to me after that's a fan and said, "You know what? I was really happy about that. A lot of young people stopped and got into your music. That was cool. That yeah. was cool." And it's going to happen. Because yeah. the tides are turning back to their tired of f fake music, which is what a lot of them get. The yeah. vocals. Monica, are I have a question at this point. Do you, what do you think about this? Do you think maybe we could interrupt? We don't usually do it, but could we interrupt the show and play one of sure. songs and then we'll pick up the interview after? Sounds great. Okay, we're going to stop right now, guys, because we just can't wait to give you a oh. taste. Here you go. Lately, my mind has gone wandering Wondering which way to go 
Some take the high road Some take the low You will never know Unless you get up and go I was on the south side of Chicago Lake Shore got its cool breeze And L.A. is fine for the sunshine New York is calling me And it's a long way from New York City A long way from New York City A long way from New York City To L.A. Bags. I had to get away There's nothing left of this day, no But tomorrow The moon's gonna rise The sun's gonna shine And in my mind Forevermore Can't hide away your sorrow Can't hide away your dreams Can live life for tomorrow The moment's what we need Travel a hundred highways Sail on every sea But it's a long way from New York City a long way from New York City A long way from New York City To L.A. When we heard this, we got excited. And I, I can't think hear everybody it. who hears it will be just as excited. I have to ask Monica, did Henry enjoy that song? Oh, he loved it. Of course he, he did. my side. <laughs> <laughs> you got Henry's approval, hey. That's all it awesome. takes. <laughs> Raspin, do you, are you an animal person? I love animals, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Yeah. I love animals. I have had every animal. At one, one time, I had 200 canaries. Wow. That's a lot of birds. That's a I lot. Had of booby yeah, I used to raise them. And then I had uh, boobies. They're big dogs. I've had cats. I've had birds. I've had fish. I've had I have a turtle right now and fish. Um, I even had a pet squirrel one time. Oh. I I've had a that. horse. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love animals. Yes, look at Do you this. write music for them? Ah. <laughs> no, no, but they've heard me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Are so we, we still? When did you? Playing? Is it? Is it over? I'm sorry. Go ahead. When did you, Raspin? When did you first realize that? you were drawn to the type of music that you create. Uh, I, I started young with my guitar 
And I just kind of picked up the guitar and started playing my own songs because I didn't really like playing other people's songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did play like Blowing in the Wind, um, some Cat Stevens stuff, some Joni Mitchell stuff, some Harry Chapin stuff. Um, but then I always kind of wrote my own songs. And it really took a long time to evolve into myself and to really kind of write the songs that I, I'm writing. Mm -hmm. And I normally don't write with anyone. I write by myself, um, but I started co-writing with a friend of mine. So that's been very cool. Good. Yeah. Great. yeah. I just, did you always have the voice that you have now or was that? I always had. I always had a voice. People thought I had a great voice, but as I matured, it got deeper and it, and it got richer. And the more shows I did, the better it got. And um, uh, I've been told that I have a real tone in my voice that mm -hmm. is very comfortable to people to listen to. Yes, yeah, right. that's it. Now, I don't like my speaking voice. I did an interview last week and somebody said, to, no, I, I did a, was talking to somebody and they said, is this the same person that's singing? And I said, yep, it is. I'm kind of like, do you ever hear Al Jarreau talk? He's got a very kind of different voice from his singing voice. Yeah, they and, would never think, they would never put you with the vocals. Right. And that's what right. is exciting right. also. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm told when I get on stage, I become somebody else. But I become the song. You know, I, I become, I sing, every song I sing comes from my heart. So I kind of leave the audience and I get into it and I just do my thing. And then when I'm done, it's kind of like a roar of applause, usually. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and that's what people feel. That's what they connect with. But um, I, lo I love performing. I love performing. I love performing more than I love recording. Yeah, because you get that immediate response. Yeah. You know, you're bringing, I think why most people do music or anything is they want to bring something to people joy to people yeah. in some form or another and you get that direct connection when it's live you yes, hear man. them embracing it, it goes on I, i'm curious about something I, you mentioned your sister was already living in chicago by the time you're 17 you're out on your own right uh, you, you, and she moved to Los Angeles. She, but I, but we lived separately. She, I lived at the beach. She lived in Hollywood. Oh, so she, she, you did have somebody out there with you. But like, your parents were okay with this, or I mean, yeah, I think about this all the time. Um, well, my dad always said I, I was sixteen going on thirty. So, uh. um, and I think because my sister was going to be out there, it was okay. But. I can't believe my mother and father let me get in my Volkswagen camper van and go to California myself, but I'm glad they did. Yeah. But I think they knew I didn't really like it in uh, Illinois that right. much. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to, ex I wanted to explore the side of music and it was either New York or Los Angeles. Exactly. So but I they, picked they believed in you. They saw your talent and supported it. And that doesn't yes, happen they did. very often. Yeah. It doesn't. I was I opened for a guy by the name of David Frost. Do you know him? Oh yeah. Yeah, years ago. I mean, I'm talking about in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. And I got better reviews than him, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it. You know. Dave, you know, that was my first kind of really celebrity get to open up for somebody big. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Well, all I can say is people have heard a little bit of your music right now. Please check out Raspin's website and share his music with others because it, when you find something that's actually a joy to listen to, you need to share it. Yeah. And that's what we ask all of you who fell in love 
with the music and the man <laughs> to please share this and buy some we're music. Gonna have an, we're going to have another song now, right, Monica? Exactly. And folks, we're putting up that link to Raspin's uh, website. And maybe there are a couple other web uh, links that he'll want us to join, uh, add, which I'll he'll provide band, us. Yeah, I'll make band, sure. Yeah, Bandcamp is a good one. I'm not really a Spotify person. I right. kind of got on SoundCloud I, years ago, so I've been I was promoting that. Okay. But now I just this last three months I've been trying to find music supervisors to put my stuff in movies and stuff like that. Yes. Because I think that would really help me. Yeah, and I could see your music perfect in so many movies. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah wow. You're going to have to check back with us and let us know how everything works out. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to be good friends. I'm going to see <laughs> you. I'm going to see you in Arizona. I'm going to see you up north in California. Absolutely. Yeah. I play this club in San Francisco. Biscuits and yeah, but um, yeah, it's all good. It is. Got another yeah. well, Are you playing a song or are we? Yeah, we're going to play a song, yeah, now. A song and we now. And folks, one more time, his name is Raspin Stewart, S T U W A R T. And wow, he is one of my favorites now. Yeah. Well, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us, Raspin. Keep in touch. My pleasure. I will. And folks, here you go. Take 
Who's the king of... Oh, oh, oh. 